Hey Legit Fam, it's Andrew and Tiffany and we're back and we tried sensory deprivation. Yeah, and it was a uh... It was an interesting experience, to say the least. It was definitely an experience. So. Uh, yeah, so uh, we went to this place that's local in Tampa, and we were able to get a float for two people. So we were in two different septi uh, septic tanks. I was not in a septic tank. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a septic tank. But we were in two different sensory deprivation tanks. Um, they were right next to each other. It had a shared like bathroom space. So the first thing that made me kind of awkward was that like I had to go to the bathroom and I knew that I had to use the bathroom before I went in the tank because you don't want to float for an hour and have to pee. Um, so we get back there and I'm like, where's the bathroom? And he's like, it's right there, like where the tanks are. And I was like, yeah, you walk in and it's just, oh, toilet, <laughs> like, toilet, tanks. And I was like, oh no, Andrew, please go over there. And, like, and I like, cause it had like a curtain, but you can still hear me pee. And I kind of needed to poop. <laughs> but oh I God. didn't. Um, so, yeah, just a heads up. Maybe go to, if you're going with someone, go to the bathroom beforehand. And if you're going with someone, make sure you're comfortable around them being naked. Yeah, yeah make sure you're comfortable because you're peeing naked, and so. or pooping around them. I <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, Yeah, they make you take a shower um, before you get in. So, obviously, like, you know, the stuff is kind of clean, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, and then you get in. I know some people I had heard they would like they had like out of body experiences and stuff like that and all this crazy stuff. But I am not that deep of a person. No, he's I, not. Mentally, I am not that deep. Basically, of a person. what you see is what you get with Andrew. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but um, so for me, it was when I got in there, it was more so um, floating, and I was just. I could feel my body and stuff moving because I had just gotten gotten in and so but after the water had settled down I what first thing I noticed is my breathing was really really calm and that's more or less what what the tank is for like relaxation and stuff like that yeah so. I, I didn't have the same experience because um so I got in and then uh so like the door is kind of like above your head so yeah. it closed and then I like I was like I immediately was like what if there's a monster in here? <laughs> and so I had to open it back up and like look and be like, oh no. Like, Cause also it was kind of reflective on the end. So I kept seeing like a light, but I also knew it was pitch black. So I was like, there's something in here. <laughs> but I was still kind of enjoying the floating cause I recently, um, like two days ago, uh, was told that I have two herniated discs and I've been having like back pain before. Like obviously I was told two days ago. Um, but now I know what it was and I was having back pain. Um, leading up to it, I had some dance stuff that I did yesterday, and so it kind of made me even more sore. Um, so the first thing is for me, like it really alleviated that lower back pain, which was nice. It was a nice relief because it took like all the to weight see. off that joint and like my knees. Yeah. But my poor shoulders and neck. Oh my god. Yeah, that's one place I definitely felt when they ask it. Me how you are? You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> It's so easy, it makes it very effortlessly to float in these tanks. Mm -hmm. And at a certain point you realize that I'm, I'm tensing up for no reason. Yes. Tensing up and then you finally relax and it's just like, oh my goodness. So it's it's definitely, yeah. It definitely it's like, wow, yeah. I, I didn't realize I carry this much tension and stuff in my, yeah. my shoulders and my neck. But it was really relaxing, just to, so it just relaxing. felt natural. For me, I didn't, I didn't feel like I got as much satisfaction and stuff out of it as you did. Cause like, for me, I personally had to step out of the tank before our, our float time was oh, done. Oh yeah, I got out, he was dry. Bruh. So the water in the tank is 91 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And so that naturally makes the chamber that you're in warmer too. And for me, it was more so just my face started to sweat. And then it it was like I had an itch on my face that I couldn't itch because you got salt all over your hands and you don't want to like touch your face and stuff because then you get salt in your eyes and that me. just makes it for a not very good time. But it was like the sweat was starting to drip, but it was getting stuck up on like the imperfections and stuff on your face and it's just like it's itching. I can't itch it. Too hot for me. Yeah. And that was that was blocking me mentally. It was like, eh. but. Yeah, I don't know, I guess, yeah, it definitely differs for everyone. And just also not the type of person to get massages either and to do that sort of thing. Whereas I, I like, every night, I'm like, can I get a massage? All the time. Yeah, I, I really just, I don't know, I'm a very high anxiety. <laughs> 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 but 
But yeah, with that, that's all that we have to say regarding yep. this. Uh, let us know if you would try sensory deprivation or if you already have and if you were one of those people that saw the demons because I'm curious about that. <laughs> I really am. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, you'll float too. Watch our it review or you'll float too. Oh God. All right. Bye guys. Bye. Okay, you can start. No, you can start it. No. You just, I got this thing face on you like. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Come on now. Don't even give nobody no warning.